Yo, Vaisanta here. So in this video, we're gonna go over 1.1 Wuwa leaks. I just go on Twitter and I just see a bunch of them, and I'm just gonna just just take a look, right? So if you don't wanna be spoiled, go and uh, watch another video or something. Watch one of my other videos on if you if you're into gauntlets. Uh, I'm mostly main gauntlets for Wuwa. So let's get in here. So shout out to Team Mu Wuwa. I guess all credit goes to them here. Here and then they have. Uh, a bunch of leaks here so we have a oculus equivalent and apparently change the bells so they have oculus but then you can hit them and then you grab them into your inventory they have underground maps and waypoints they also have gravity cannons i don't play apex so i don't know what that is but maybe you guys do then we have the new maps we could take a picture of all this this looks pretty nice frozen waterfalls some kind of portal, probably in the dungeon, you have to unlock. I don't know what to say about this, but pretty cool. <laughs> Bridges all around there. Uh, this is probably, this is going to be a dungeon, maybe like a forgery or something like that. It's very snowy and a lot of red in this area. Some some kind of temple. All right, and then we also let's see, do we have any more here? Oh, there's more. Yeah. Yeah, so the, I guess in the 1.0, there's like a lot of greens and stuff. Here's more like yellow and red, right? We have some red trees. The broken house, the, what's that? Go? Is that the Go game? I don't know. Or they just have a grid of maps up there. Some kind of study, more part of the building, I'm guessing. And look at this, wow. This could be some kind of end of maybe some kind of act, right? We do final boss fights or something. Oh look, you see go on the top. Maybe yeah, who knows? <laughs> nice, nice, so it's like white and red in a way. Frozen lake with a boat. More frozen stuff, and then it's like uh I'm assuming a dungeon in the middle of this. You know, lock that probably. This is, I guess, this, okay, so this is the other view of the same thing, right? Of this, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm guessing this map, this map, well, we'll see a layout of the map later, but everything wallpaper material. We do have concept art of, I'm assuming, some kind of villain. Oh, there's Wu Wa Land too. It's from, also from Twitter from Wu Wa Land. And then we have uh let's see, we need the bad guy. And then oh, so we have a new mini game, snowboarding. So instead of flying, you're on a snowboard. <laughs> Pretty cool. I wonder if they have multiplayer, like you can co-op, that'll be cool. Like having a race, just like a short race. Race event. Mm, so they have this, but there's a technically new puzzle. So you now have running, we have like the flying. Uh, what else is there? Uh, the pufferfish? No, it's mostly the fighting one, the the flying running ones, and now we have a snowboard one, kind of. Yeah. So this is probably part of the story, but a uh, little Changli. We have more pictures of her here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then we also got the central weapon. So. Chang Li is using a sword weapon and Jin Shi is using a broadsword. And this broadsword is for Chang Li. It has in it's basically base attack, but it also has increased crit rate from the passive. Pumping damage increases searing feather by one stack, getting one stack every point one point five seconds. So there's a cooldown for that, right? When you resident skill is released, increased uh feather but extra five stacks each stack of feather increases resonating damage bonus by uh, up to eight, four to eight percent stack up to 14 times after reaching 14 stacks all stacks will reset within 10 seconds also you can keep getting stacked and then once you hit the max it resets okay so you do like massive damage every 14 feathers using skill gives you five oh. About like every every three, if you, but of course you're weaving attacks in in and out, right? 
And this is the broadsword for Jinshi. It has crit rate as the passive, but you also gain 12 to 24% depending on the dupe, right? Yeah, so this one, this one, depending on the dupe, you get 4% up to 14 times or 8, depending on how many dupes you have. <laughs> Here is the 12 to 24 TM. All attributes, though. All of them. We were first down. Divine Blessing gain one stack of Blessing of the Ages. Yo, they, they did they play on Ages? But with ages for each basic attack up to four which is removed when Uter leaves the field at four stacks or more the weaver could the wielder consumes all stacks when casting the next skill which with it damage increase depending on 48 to 96 depending on the dupe for 2.5 seconds oh so if you use a skill your damage is increased for 2.5 hmm so if you use a skill then oh i guess yeah. <laughs> I'm casting that skill with its damage though. Wait, its damage? So the skill damage is increased. Yeah, okay. Skill damage increase for 2.5 seconds. So what, if you like spamming skills? <laughs> we trigger er one time every 6 seconds. And then we have the breakthrough level cost for the weapons. Right? I'll, I'll, of course, I'll put the this the link to the twitter on the description down below so you can just take a look oh now we have jinchi's kit doll born renewal so the spectro bra blade these are stats and then we have her ascension and skill upgrade mats here nice nice now we have the basic attack, perform four slash anything spectral damage, heavy attack, perform a charge attack, consuming stamina, plunge attack, dodge counter, doing spectral. So one, two, throw the four hit combo. Damn, that got a big hit at the fourth one, obviously. Stage one damage. Wait a minute. So the first hit does pretty good damage, and then the second and third hit does meh, and then the fourth hit does more. Okay, okay. Now we have her uh, resonate skill dash forward and perform consecutive strikes. Overflowing balance. Uh, after she uses four basic attacks or while and not incarnation, intro skill, blah blah. blah. Okay, four skill. Well, oh, while and incarnation, intro skill, hot, longs, halo, and alternative skill. Overflowing radiant becomes available within five seconds. Okay, so while okay, so after using four basic attacks or while not in incarnation and then using intro skill, this overflowing radiant skill becomes available. So this skill is changed to this pretty much. And it sends and then sends her into incarnation incarnation. Hmm. Regular skill damage and you have overflow. You get that big, big chunk there. <laughs> then we have liberation unleashes the power of heart wish to do spectral damage. It can be cast in midair, so you can cast it all in midair. Wow. Okay. This cannot. So I. Okay. So it looks like that Jin Shi's gonna have a lot of air attacks. You can do everything on the ground that you can also do in the air, which is pretty cool, right? You can see. Remember, no spoilers, but. It is a spoiler. In the end, uh, when she shoots the the dragon now, she's in the air. <laughs> a forte circuit. Liminal luminal luminal synthesis. While incarnation. Uh the basic attack becomes available. So their attack change, but attack cycle did not reset. Can also be cast in midair. And then alternate skill, crit and ability become available. Okay, so you do the first one, you do you change the incarnation, and then you everything changes into this. <laughs> Heavy attack becomes available, so that also changes. Uh, dodge also changes. Oh no, you can dodge in the air and it can be cast multiple times. So you can keep yo, you can just keep dashing in the air. Wow. Okay. Damn. She's, the more, she's more of an air fighter than Ling Yang in a way, man. <laughs> Resonate skill, Luminous Infinity. After stage 4 of incarnation, 
After stage 4 incarnation, basic attack, so this also becomes another basic attack thing. Incarnation terminates and didn't gain ordination glow. While ordination glow lasts, basic attack is replaced with heavy attack while an airborne. Attack the target in midair at the cost of stamina. Resonating skill is replaced with uh, luminous infinity. Sent out solar flare <laughs> that detonates. Uh, maybe this is part where it summons the dragon. Then. After a short delay, when Jinsen incandescent consumed up to 40 incandescent, each point of incandescent grants additional damage multiplier to the star glamour, uh, which is at the end with detonates, right? Can be cast in midair. After casting the skill, Luminous gain unison. Damn, so so many stage switches, man. <laughs> I swear. Holy moly, you jump in the air, you shoot that thing, and then you become... Uh... Oh, you do the skill. If you do the skill, then it, it changes into this one. Unison. While in unison, switching to other characters, remove the unison and trigger the outro skill and incoming character skill. I mean, yeah. Unison will be consumed in priority in place of central energy when the energy is full. Okay, so you lose it when you switch, pretty much. What does Unison get, though? Jensen can up to 40 and that while on a team, all nearby characters on the team gain errors of unity. When characters of unity deal damage with an attribute, it, she gains, so she pretty much gets search console energy, which is, yeah. Or her, her own, uh, own, own stack of uh, incandescence. Damage of the same attribute can revive up to one incandescent every three seconds. So if you want to build up super quick, you have to switch characters to different element and then use it again. <laughs> you uh, do damage, I mean. Okay. And these are, oh, okay, these are the numbers and stuff. Unison duration, only five seconds. What does Unison give, though? Did I miss what Unison give? Yeah, it just says she gains Unison. I don't know what that means. Not on here. But anyways, uh, Inherit skill, stab bonus. So she does crit and attack. Wow, okay. Wow, she seems kind of broken, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so these are the, the dupes. So when you get the first one, when can't basic attack or resonance skill, gain one stack of Hero Revival, which is stacked to four times. When casting the skill, consume all the stacks of Revival. Each stack increases the damage of the skill by 20%. Wow, so you increase your skill even more. Okay, so she has the thing where it increases the skill, right? I believe, where is it? I think it's part of her her skill. Where's the skill? Five seconds, raising it. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Wrong one. And then let's see, two, recover in 40 incident when staying out of combat for more than four seconds. Uh, so you could like, put her in the back burner and she instantly just gets 40. Gain 12. Incandescent and stack up immortality. Yo, she has too many freaking statuses, man. <laughs> like, there's so many, st so many stacks on her. After catch your intro skill, each stack of immortal increases 25%, lasts 20 seconds. When casting liberation, purge of light or resonant skill, then the all nearby character gain damage bonus. Ooh, extra 20%. Okay, so I'm talking about the damage bonus to the weapon. So you have the weapon and this. Oh my god. Damage multiplier of liberations increased by 120. Wait, increased by 120? So, okay, the multiplier. Okay, the multiplier. Mm, wait, hold on. Purge of Evil. I missed the... Purge of Evil. Oh, Purge of Light. Oh, man. <laughs> increase? Hold on, Purge of Light, Purge of Evil. Did I miss Purge of Evil? Huh, it could be a typo or anything. Oh, Purge of Light, okay. Purge of Light, over anything, skill, all characters, gain 25%. Purge of Evil. That's what I missed. Hold on, is there a...
Okay, this Purge of Light. I don't know where the Purge of Evil comes from. Anyways, uh, damage multiplier percentage for resonance skill infinity is increased by 45%. The multiplier increase brought by... Oh my god, that's freaking whack. <laughs> Seem pretty good, not gonna lie. All right, we have Chang Li, Turno Blaze, Fusion Sword. All right, these are the skill upgrades, Ascension Mats. I'm uh, yeah. So there, down below there's a. We are getting, I think, a new boss or something. Or there's a way. To, these are. I'm not sure, but it, maybe these are different. <laughs> maybe they're the same. Uh, Resonant Liberation, Radiance of Felty, Felty, uh, deal fusion damage and a force action and flame in, entering a fiery feather. When Chainlan releases a heavy attack, flame and sacrifice or attack increase, after which the feather ends. Wait, did I like miss like, oh, I missed, I missed the basic stuff. <laughs> so we have the basic attack. Performing four executive attacks uh, after releasing ground basic attack stage, Chang Li can choose true sight. So after the four attack, true sight. Okay, everything's kind of straightforward, right? After releasing mid four four stage, so she can also attack in the air, right? Does four hits, and then she also gains true sight. Uh, heavy attack. Uh, Using a base attack after a certain amount of time to release the stage three instantly. Oh, so if you do base attack on the ground, you go straight into air, and then you can go straight into this from the stage three. Mid air heavy attack shortly after holding basic attack in mid air using the base attack, uh, true sight charge basic attack to consume stamina to perform plunging attack, and then the base. So okay, so if you hold it either way, you enter the stage three. Nice. So true sight capture, which is the skill. After releasing resonating skill, rapidly attack the enemy, enter true sight for 12 seconds. In the end, it releases plunging attack. Okay. And then true sight has initial two attempts and can be used up two times. Oh, there's a two times thing. Okay. Number of attempts increased by one every 12 seconds. So you get it back every 12 seconds. Basic attack, true sight. When true sight and Chang Li uses ground basic attack, she releases true sight conquest. Rapidly approaching the enemy and dealing fusion damage. Consider oh, so her basic attack becomes a skill damage. So you want to max skill damage on her. Every so if you just want to be true sight all the time, and then you always just doing skill damage. Interesting. Okay. And yeah, and this is her ult. She gets fiery feather, gets a sacrifice, and it increases skill damage. Yeah, okay. Inherit skill when Chang Li releases the basic attack. Inherit skill secret strategies. We release the basic attack, true crash, but blah, blah, blah. For each stack of flame, it increases 5%. Oh my god. And you get like four stacks? Is it four stacks? Yeah, you can get four stacks. Oh man. <laughs> Release the heavy attack flame sacrifice, uh, fusion damage increased by 20% and ignores 15% defense. Dude, you can just stretch the defense too. Uh, neutral skill to put in mid-air and attack the target, enter true sight instantly. Wow, you enter true sight instantly. Wait, did I miss the intro skill for... Oh, wait, there was... I don't think there was an intro skill on here. Yeah, not post intro skill for Jingxi, okay. Wow. So you get crit rate and attack. Damn, both of these are crit rate and attack. <laughs> All right, the forte outro skills, which is in fusion, increases fusion damage and the resonation damage. Wow, it's just like Yinlin. Except it's fusion damage, right? Fusion damage. No, it's the same as Yinlin, right? Yeah. When releasing heavy attack, uh, if Jinglin carry four stack on flame, so you do ult and then you release heavy attack. You assume auto stack to release flame and sacrifice. Flame and uh, four stacks, one of flame for every basic attack. So you get you can get one stack of flame for every basic attack, uh, but with true sight, and then also with 
two sides charge. And you get four stacks for liberate. Uh, yeah, we know that already. Inherent skill cooking. Yeah, so we know it's crit and attack. So look at look at her dupes. Resonating skill, part of flame, and heavy attack while increases the damage by 10%. So if you do the skills, you get damage by 10% and resistant interruption. Oh no, it's only for the skills and heavy attack. Okay. So when you do those, you have you don't get staggered as much. And flame increases crit damage. Oh my god, the S2. Oh shoot. <laughs> Damn, that's a big buff for this for S2. Liberation uh, damage increased by 80. That's pretty good too. Wow, 80%. Intro skill increases the attack. Whoa, this is a support skill right here. Okay, S5 heavy attack file multiplier increased by 50. Wow, 50%. When heavy attack is released, chain increased by an additional 50. Wow, 50. That's not, that's not a small number. <laughs> Resonating skill, triple frame, heavy attack, and liberation. Ignore the 40%. So by default, I think it was 15, right? And then now these skills and heavy attack and liberation also ignore 40%. Okay, where's the one that was ignoring defense? I think it was one of these. No, up here. This is inherent skill when it leads to heavy attack and liberation. Ignores fifteen percent. So this thing makes it that the skill also, not just heavy attack and liberation, but also the the skill also nor additional forty. So this gets forty. This gets sixty five. This gets sixty five. Oh my god! <laughs> and these are all on true sight, by the way, right? All right. So we got the new map. This is the dragon map that we see in the bottom right of the map here. Uh, I'm assuming there's multiple layers up up, up and down because it looks like look like it that way when it's an underground underground map. We have Jinshi's uh, name card. That looks pretty cool. Dragon. I kind of want that. Uh, this is most likely for login events, it seems like. Just a background. And we're also getting a hot spring. They can jump in just to heal. And just relax and just hang out with friends, I guess. And this, this looks like the elusive realm. Now I'm fire. Oh, wait a minute. This is like a story thing where it starts off nice and then everything just gets on fire. Yo, did you think you think Shang Ling would have like a troublesome pop a childhood? So we have some boss design changes. I guess the faces and stuff kind of changed. They changed. Which one? Is this Thundering Memphis? Memphis? And then it has a more covered face. So there's also a new weakness mechanism. Some enemies have weaknesses. Using remote character to aim, so I guess they're buffing guns. Kind of, is that only for guns? <laughs> so we also have their icon, Jingxi's icon, and Changling's icon, Changling's icon. All right, so we see obviously this right. This is from Girl Leak. We have the splash arts. Yeah. Uh, weekly boss. So I'm assuming this is where you get those mats that I mentioned earlier. Probably like this. <laughs> get it from there. And we're getting a new tactical hologram, crownless. Uh, okay, okay. And yeah, so the new map is on the bottom right here. Oh, and we're releasing. So the data bank, data, data dog, <laughs> data bank level is going to release to 21, go 100% drop instead of just what 80, 20. And the cost of 12, and probably, probably, it still remains at 20%. But yeah, that's so far. Oh, yeah, we can see the gameplay right here. So you can kind of see that that plunge attack thing, right? Pretty cool. I saw this yesterday and I was like, oh, wow. All right, I think that's all the leaks I've seen so far. And, oh yeah, bonus. 44411 versus 4331. Uh, it's about 15% to go 433. So 4331 is better by 15%. And we look at these maps here. Uh, this person did all the math. Scaling, liberation. Huh. Yeah. 
just just why hope you guys enjoyed this video i do stream on twitch twitch.tv so feel free to come by just to chat to talk about stuff uh i can't wait for the new gauntlet unit <laughs> with that later days